Well, one squad hailing, so if you don't know what that means, that's kind of like a greeting in a Jamaican slang. If you're not a part of the squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button, I promise you. I will leave a smile on your face every time you watch my videos. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I apply this bob lace front wig and make it into a curly bob. And I apply this wig without using any got to be glue no gel apart from laying my edges but that's about it I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do to customize the wig because believe me this was the hardest wig for me to actually wear and it took forever for me to fit it and it's like nothing wrong with it now my edges did too small for the wig that, that's all I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself so let's begin I got this wig from KL Hair on AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the description. Along with the wig came a wig cap of small lashes and a small beauty sponge. And this is the wig looking fresh out of the box. It has like 5 inches of lace in the front and in the back with adjustable straps and 3 combs in the front. My hair is just twisted and pulled back with two defined parts, a middle and a side part, and as you know, I'm a side part type of girl. That's what I went with. So I tried on the wig just to see how it would fit, and it was actually a little too big, but as you can see that the hairline was actually pretty natural, but I had to do some customization for the wig. Um, I went ahead and cut the lace, and just a tip to make it easier for anybody who's new when dealing with wigs, is to wet the hair and push it back and then you'll be able to see the demarcation on the line and it will be easier to cut. After cutting the wig, I grab my elastic band and measure it from air to air and then after I just take off like an inch and a half and cut it and sew it on to the wig so that the wig can fit a little bit snug on my head. I tried on the wig to see how it fits and then try to pick where I need to customize so that it can work for me. There was a little extra lace in the front but I quickly snipped that off as well as snipping the other air pieces so that it can fit around my head properly. After all that now it's time to truly get the wig to work and I go ahead and just use bobby pin just to stick the wig in place. I sprayed the where I wanted to make my part and I just did that. And then I just clip everything down and tweeze my part a little bit to make it look more natural. At this point, this is what my part is looking like. The next thing I'm going to do is just section a little piece of the hair in the front part of the lace and just snip it off to make somewhat of a baby hair. And I did that on both sides of the part. And just a quick note, the lace already came bleached. I then grab a little gel just to smooth those baby hair back so that it can make the hair look a lot natural and then I added my concealer to the part to brighten it up a bit. Now all that is done, I grab my Revlon flat iron and just straighten my hair with a little bump at the ends. It was good for that day but like after a week or so during the week the ends started bumping um, at each other at my shoulders so I decided to just change it into a curly bob kind of look and this is what I'm gonna show you how I actually curl my hair and that's how the ends of my hair looked after the end of the week so I just take pieces of my hair and just curl it away from my face given that I don't really use hairspray after the curls don't really hold up after three days or so so I have to recurl it but nonetheless I have no problems with it so this is the end result of my hair Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to bust a like and subscribe down below and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye!